All right, guys, an update on where the bike's at and what we found and what the next step's going to be. So uh, I just checked the run out on the crankshaft and on this side, of course. I didn't check the other side yet, but I will. And on this side, we had 1,000s run out, which is pretty good for the build and how many miles I have on it and how much I abuse the bike. I figured it was going to be pretty bad but it ain't so that's kind of good news there um one of the issues that i was having was the bike was fluctuating on oil pressure um it would be at 51 minute and then drop down to 10 uh, psi so what i kind of found was let me see go back over here we took the pump out um on the outside rotors here um scuffed up pretty good it's kind of hard to see but it's all scuffed up the inner gear rotors are fine i didn't see anything the spring did have a little bit of wear on it but this outside here has some pretty good gouges in it um the front lifters kind of got a little scuffed up from lack of oil the rear ones are fine but the front didn't do well so i'm gonna go ahead and replace those um what i did find when i was taking the cam plate apart on the oil bypass i had the uh, axtel mod on it which this little cap goes on the end you put the spring in there's a like a brass sleeve that goes in here and then there's a um let's see i just might as well just see if i can get it out um so there's this little uh, <clears throat> plunger kind of thing that goes in there. It seats on the brass fitting, and it's supposed to keep pressure on it so that it builds up or maintains pressure to the oil system. What I found was that the spring that goes in there was actually coming out the side here. So... I'm thinking that it wasn't maintaining pressure, you know, bouncing kind of back and forth, and it was kind of starving um, the bike a little bit for uh, oil pressure. So uh, I'm going to reach out to some people to see if they can help out and uh, see what we can do. So I'm going to need basically a cam, cam plate, oil pump, new lifters, and uh, that should kind of take care of that since i'm already here we'll go ahead and replace um, the bearings put new bearings in it and uh button it back up and hopefully we'll be fine so that's kind of where we're at i was expecting it was going to be a lot worse i was expecting um you know a crank and i reached out to a few people that can help me with the crank and whatnot i was thinking you know throw in a dark horse with some cp rods in it and and still kind of keep it small i wasn't going to go big um because i really don't need a big motor but i was kind of like ah, maybe we'll go to 110 or something still keep it on the small side um i really do like how this bike runs with this build um, i've been pretty impressed with it and uh, it runs really good really strong and it does basically what i need as my daily commuter so I'll keep you guys posted on the progress and the you know direction and and uh, we'll go from there and see what happens. All right guys, thanks for uh staying tuned. Thanks.